Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So like I posted earlier on social media, the lovely tea holiday gift boxes are officially here. So if you guys are interested in getting a box, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. They're only gonna be available on the website. Um, there's three different boxes to choose from, like I told you guys before. One is the wellness box, the other is the beauty box, and then the last one is the holiday flavored box. So if you guys are interested in getting any of these three boxes for yourself or as a gift, Make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. The first 50 orders are guaranteed to get to you before Christmas. We only have a total of 100 boxes because we didn't want to get too many and then not know if they were going to sell out or not. So if you guys are interested in getting a box, once again, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole meat meal situation. Meat meal is definitely going through a few things, okay? So if you guys don't know, over the weekend, he did a whole question and answer series with his fans called hashtag asked Meek and one of the questions that he was asked was about Nicki Minaj and how he felt about Nicki Minaj's new boyfriend and he basically let the whole world know that Nicki Minaj blocked him after he went to go to her page to go look at her new damn boo okay so this is what Meek Mill had to say go ahead and check this out so somebody named Zakia Unique says at Meek Mill how do you feel about Nicki's new dude lame weirdo right lol hashtag ask Meek so Meek Mill replies back and he says, I don't feel nothing and I don't know that man to judge him. I went to check him out on her page and found out I was blocked. Honey, I guess Meek Mill got that damn block treatment, okay? And what's so funny about that is just a month ago, he was basically telling the media that he does not slide into Nikki's DMs, he's not trying to holler at her, and everything that she said in the Barbie Dream song was basically an over-exaggeration. So that might have been when Nicki Minaj decided to block him when he was throwing shade at her in her song a month ago, okay? So now if that's not crazy enough, we got some more serious news from Meek Mill. Um, today he took to social media to basically announce that his grandmother's house was defaced with racist graffiti. So this is what TMZ's reporting. Go ahead and check this out. So Meek Mill took to Instagram and he said this, a white man sprayed a racial remark on my grandmother's house last night in South Philly, referencing white privilege. The crazy part is this was an all black neighborhood 20 years ago. It was gentrified, now this. Just don't let me catch you, coward. And then he posted the picture. So TMZ is saying this, law enforcement sources tell TMZ that they have taken an official vandalism report Detectives are not investigating. TMZ obtained a clear shot of the graffiti at Meek's grandma's house, and it reads ACORN. According to Meek's camp, ACORN is a term that relates to white privilege slash power. We also learned that Meek himself is in the process of filing an official police report. Meek says the white guy spray painted his grandma's house in Philly with racist graffiti, and he has a video of the crime. The Champions rapper tweeted about the incident Tuesday, saying it went down Monday night. He also posted the surveillance video of the street outside, which shows the guy casually tagging the side of the building. It's hard to make out what he wrote, but Meek says it was a racist remark referencing white privilege. He also seems to suggest that the tagging is a result of his grandmother's neighborhood becoming gentrified and saying it was a black neighborhood 20 years ago, but no longer. Meek sends a clear warning to the perpetrator, calling him a coward and telling him he better hope Meek and his company don't catch him out on the street. All right, so you guys just heard what TMZ had to say. So this entire situation is really unfortunate, but it's not the first time it's happened. If you guys remember a few years ago, LeBron James found his home being vandalized with racist graffiti as well. So it's really a shame that people are doing this. And it also speaks to a bigger issue with neighborhoods being gentrified and things like that. And so many parts of the East Coast, like, you know, especially if you go to Harlem, they don't even look like Harlem looked 10, 15 years ago. You know, everything's starting to become more gentrified. For some people, they believe that it's a really good thing. For other people, they believe that it's not a good thing. But either way, nobody has a right to disrespect this man's grandmother's home. Nobody has a right to vandalize her property. And I hope that the man is caught and arrested, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Meek Mill, basically admitting to the world that Nicki Minaj blocked him, and then also his grandmother finding racist graffiti on the side of her home. So go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.